Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to draw the face of Tintin. Super simply, without the use of any stylus or any other type of recording device, only the use of your mouse and basic illustrator tools. And uh, yeah, I'm going to show you just a couple of tricks, uh, how to make it pretty easy, and um, we'll get started. Alright, the first thing I want you to notice, I've already drawn this about three times here. And then every single time you see that they're a bit different from each other, especially the ear. The right ear, I had a lot of trouble trying to mimic this, but I had this basic sketch that I wanted to recreate. All right, so don't worry about that if it's a bit different from my image or if my image is a bit different from these ones. That's perfectly normal, that's just part of drawing. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the colors that we want to use. So we have three principal colors uh, correspond to the face just so it's a bit easier for us to manage instead of, because you'll notice if his skin color is a bit different from the rest or it doesn't match the yellow hair, there's no reason to play with these things. All right, so let's get started. We're gonna use our ellipse tool and we're just gonna click once and I found the best proportions are a height that's 13 and a width that's 11. So use those ratios and that'll get you the rough um, shape of his head. Then let's zoom in right here and let's go to make his eyes. And what we can do to help position them if we go, well, we go uh, control Y and we see this kind of outline here. So let's use this and create our little ovals. And they'll be about that big, roughly. We're gonna make sure that they have a black fill and no stroke, like that. And then we'll press Alt, Shift, and move the other one to about right about there. Don't worry, everything can be adjusted. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to draw a circle. And the circle is going to be roughly the same height as an eye. So press, hold, Shift, and drag. And then we're going to delete, using the direct select key, this part of the circle and this part of the circle. So we're left this little anchor point. So we're left with half of a circle. And that's gonna correspond to his nose. So let's move this just a bit below the center line and a bit to the right, about there. Then we're gonna use the direct select key. We're gonna select both of these anchors and we're gonna, and we're gonna pull them out. Just slightly like this. And then we're gonna select these handles, hold shift and pull it out until they intersect with that line there like so. And there we have his nose. And if we go to control Y, that's the basic shape. Now let's give the nose the correct color. There we go, as the background. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go into control Y again, to this view, and we're gonna use the pen tool, and we're gonna select the point from about his eye, right here, to about the middle of the other eye right here, and a bit down, and we're gonna give it a slight line, a curve like this. And that's going to correspond to his mouth. Then we'll use the pen tool again and we're going to create the, the kind of teeth. So we'll click on that line, then a bit below, give it a kind of sharp curve, and to there. That'll do it. Close that anchor and then close this right here and make sure that the line roughly matches up. Like that. Easy. We'll go to Control Y again. And we're just gonna give this a white color. That corresponds to the mouth. Then, let's uh, do the ears. Ears is quite simple. Select this, use the pen tool, and right above the eye, we'll begin the ear. No, I don't wanna add a point there. Right above the eye, and then just a bit higher, we'll add a bit of a curve and then to roughly nose level. It's a good point to aim for, like that. So, like that, super simple. If you have a bit extra here, you can just pull this in a bit like that, or you can pull the whole ear out. And then we're gonna add a little notch right here and that will correspond to the inside of the ear like so great to make the other ear we're gonna clip click on this 
we're going to hold Alt and Shift and move it over here. And then we're going to right click, go transform and reflect by 9 degrees on the vertical axis. And there we have the other side of the ear. Now on this side we're going to bring the ear just a bit down and we're going to add another point right here. So we click on this with the pen tool, bring it down a bit and then bring it up the inside of the ear like so pretty simple and same deal with the bottom here we'll click on this point and add another bit of a curl like that then we're going to use the pucker tool right here if you can click and hold on this where you see width tool go to pucker you can hold alt and click and you can change the size of the brush but we're going to make it a small brush like this and we're just going to pucker this bit of the path. So I'm going to select this and then bring this in. Oops. Maybe a bit bigger than that. Just to give the ear a bit more shape. Although it looks very scraggly right here and that doesn't look very nice. But let's see if I can change the line here. That doesn't look very pretty, so let's just undo that. Again, the ear was the piece that was having the most issues right there. Maybe that little scraggly bit's okay. Then we can just click on this, we can drag it in a bit, and you can just modify these anchor points a bit. Try to get rid of that space right there. One way is to... Oops. One way would be to modify these anchor points and just bring them down more like that. Like so. All right, so there we have the other ear. Now we're gonna draw the uh, eyebrows, super simple. Two points above the eye with a very high raise, like so. Press Alt, Shift, and bring it above the other eye. And now we're gonna add the uh, the hair at the top. So we use our pen tool, and in this case, we'll press Control Y, go into here, it's a bit easier to modify. Use the pen tool, and starting just above his hair, but not on the line, a bit off, we're gonna create this kind of bulb, kind of grows, and then gets narrower as we get closer to the top of his head, like so, and then, starts to curl upwards above his uh, right eyebrow. And then from here, give it a strong curl like that. Then a bit of a crest in the middle. Like so, and then above the other eyebrow, we're gonna bring it down to here or a strong crest like so. And then we're just gonna follow, we're just gonna close the shape right here. Oops. Sorry. Let's follow this edge right here. And you wanna stay just a bit away from this line actually. Because I'll show you why in just a moment. All right, now that we have that shape, you can click on it, it looks absolutely terrifying, very unnatural. But that's okay. We'll use the eye, uh, eye picker tool right there. And there we have the outline of his hair. So the reason is because this hair is above this layer. You don't want this line to thin out. So that's why we keep our distance between the two. Now we're gonna just use our pen tool. Not select anything. Pen tool from here to here, like so. And then V, P, and then from here to here, like so. And then we're just gonna make sure that there is no fill, like that. Then you can modify this anchor point so it intersects with the line, doesn't do anything funny like that. And this one bring it down more to here, like so. Then we're just going to add a couple little lines right here. 
low curve, VP, low line, a bit longer, VP, and low line again. Like so, three low notches, just like that. And there we have his face. Now we can add another feature, so his neck. We'll use our pen tool and we'll select a point somewhere right around here. And then directly across from it, up there. And then add a diagonal kind of trapezoidal shape right here. In the center and close it like that. Then with this, we'll use our skin color, skin tone that we have in the back. We're going to arrange it, send to the back, and then we're going to use a rectangle tool, about so big, give it a white color, that's the inside. Then using the direct select key, select this side, hold shift and bring it upwards like so. Then we're going to bring it so that it's flush this side right here and again we can select the direct oops we can select this and bring it down to there and then we just modify it so it looks like a collar should like that, that. make it a bit extend like that then we're just gonna copy the shape the shape we're gonna press control shift V paste it in place and then we're going to reflect it also by 90 degrees and bring it to the other side and then modify it with the anchor point so that it matches with the rest of uh, the rest of his face like so make this collar a bit longer actually like that and then we'll use we'll use our pen tool and give it a little crease And I should have actually done this. We're gonna actually go to convert anchor tool. You want this to be rounded so it looks like a collar. <laughs> so I'm actually gonna round that. And since that's behind, we don't have to worry too much about that. Okay, and then the last thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna add a bit of blush because Tintin has always, always has some blush on him. And that's by making an ellipse about this big. We're gonna give it this color here and we're just going to copy it directly to the other side holding alt select both of these points and then we'll go effect blur Gaussian blur and then you want to choose a value where you still see some of the inside but it's also quite diffuse outwards so this would all obviously be too strong but something more like this might work and that gives them just a little bit of blush and as you can see, in this one, his eyes are actually a bit too small, so let's make them a bit bigger. Like so. Bring this eye in because it looks a bit funny. Actually, let's bring it out just a bit. This is lined. And there we go, that looks, that looks a bit more proper. The nose is a bit small. Ah! The nose should be a bit off-center, a bit like that. But there you have it. There's a simple, easy way of making Tintin's face. You can recreate it, you can modify it, of course. You can play with the mouth. There's a thousand things that can be changed, but it gives you the basic idea of how to make this face. So if you like this tutorial, please subscribe. Check out our other videos. We have a video showing you how to draw the one of the landscapes Tintin is in using this Linklair style. And yeah, hope you like this and have a great day.